Hey Lexi. Yes. Do you like food? I love food. Okay. Well, this is a food video. Yeah. Josh! Hey, and welcome back to our oh. stupid <laughs> I'm Rick. But what, what you don't say? know, I was gonna say, what you don't know is it's a solely dedicated to tomatoes and mushrooms. You don't like tomatoes and mushrooms? Nope. Not she at hates all. she hates both. I hate tomatoes more. But you don't like so you don't like spaghetti? No, I no, no, no. I'll have ketchup, I'll have tomato, tomato sauce. sauce. It's like it's sliced raw to raw tomato. tomato. Mm. That's just a big nope. Or really like just if it was a slice of cooked tomato, I wouldn't do that either. Lexi mm. hates fruit. Uh, anyways, this is from the Greatest Food Review Show. Best ever food review show, apologies. Ah, this is gonna be good. Uh, there's another video, it's called Indian Food Cooked with Love. Americans oh. try home cooked Indian food for the first time in Delhi. Oh, this is gonna be great, because yeah, they're gonna be blown away. Yeah, that's... Blown away! Blown away! Blown away! <laughs> Here we go. I like food. I like food. I just wanna say thank you all so much for inviting me here today and, oh, and to be part of this amazing, huge, glorious, delicious meal. It's my pleasure. And that being said, wow. I spent two weeks traveling Mumbai and Delhi, sampling some of the Whoa. best and most unique yeah, food in the world. Uh, uh, and today, on. it's all about home cooking. Right now, she's kind of doing the final steps of making the holic paneer. With a little food adventuring along the way. Okay. I like it. It's confusing at first. <laughs> I'll be joining a Delhi native, Harshita, as we explore Delhi, then try her mother's mind-blowing recipes. But first, breakfast. We're gonna get some breakfast really quick. We're not quite eating too soon. Um, can you tell me what this is here? It is called poha, one of the breakfast we options. Of that, it's basically a yeah, uh, flattened rice. It's called rice flakes. Oh yeah. No poha. Why is it yellow? Is that for turmeric? Yeah, that's what it is. Then he puts on onion, then tomato. You have to honk your horn three times. That's chaat masala. It's basically a mix of spices made from dried mango. Then he puts on some citrus, some of this fried lentil, peanuts, Coriander. And pomegranate. And then bam, with the Edward scissor hands coming out with the chilies. <laughs> and that's it. How much is this? This portion of poha costs 20 rupees, or about 30 cents. A great value and a great way to start the day. This is delicious. When's the last time you had this for breakfast? It's a very, very common option. Hey, sorry buddy. Dogs can't eat, right? This is one of the fastest cooking options available. Yeah, it's super fast. And it's super affordable. And I like that it has a lot of the textures in there. A lot of Indian food can be a bit mushy. Not a lot of crunchiness. And I like a good crunch. So here we go. Mmm. Oh, delicious. You know, between the spice, the tomato, onion, cilantro, it's like a little Indian salsa being put on top of the rice. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. I want like three more. <laughs> Harshita's mother will be whipping up a huge home cooked meal later today, but not until we grab a few ingredients from their local outdoor market. Well, good morning, everybody. We made it to the market. This is a normal vegetable market here. I like the carts. Yeah. Uh, you can just stack all their produce on there and cart it around easily. These vendors start selling from early in the morning. When the market closes, oh. they cart their remaining produce around, trying to offload the rest by shouting out their offering. Bam, we've got grapes. We've got bananas. The economy-sized watermelons. I like it. This is like a watermelon snack. Okay? I'm sick of big watermelons. What I like right here, guys, take a look at this. The weighing system is so awesome. He's got a here. They put the weights on there, yeah. and then they put the equivalent food on the other side. Is your father here? Thank you for uh, having me, inviting me today. What are we getting today? A black carrot? I've never seen it before. He uses the old fingernail trick, and it's well, it's kind of purple actually. We make a fermented drink out of this. Are we gonna have that fermented drink today? No, 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 no. It's a winter thing. The spinach here. You told me we're gonna have pollock spinach today, right? Yeah, it's for that. The first time I had Indian food, I was 28. It was like this revelation. It's like I thought I knew all the flavors of the world. I did not. One of the main ingredients in the pollock spinach, which your mom is yeah, making today, yeah, is yeah. spinach. There are only main two ingredients: spinach and, and cheese, cottage cheese. Oh. Well, we have to get cheese, right? <laughs> now we are headed to the cheese market. A lot of Asia doesn't really use much cheese, but there's a lot of cheese in India. The cheese we're eating today, it is a kind of cottage cheese. It's called paneer. They are cutting the chunks and 
Okay, I can't wait for that. Luckily, the dairy store, the one with the cheese, is also full of endlessly satisfying sweets. Uh, is that normal? Like the place with the sweets also has the cheese? Yeah, because the, it's made out of milk and all the sweets, mostly they have milk. Two huge discs of cheese. This one is just a pure white paneer. What is this one? That's called masala paneer. It has coriander leaves, ginger, cumin, and cheese. Pretty intense. Can we try a little piece of that now? Yeah, yeah, we have it in the form of snack. So right here, he's cutting off a piece and he's putting it on the scale there, kind. He's putting chaat masala also. So he prepared this like, a, like we're going to a party and these are some hors d'oeuvres. That is some intense smell in there. The cilantro comes through in a big way. You can see all the different little specks in here. Between like ginger, cumin, cilantro, like it's a pretty strong smell, right? I'm a little uh, excited is the word. Here we go. Okay, I like it. It's confusing at first. It has a sulfuriness to it. The cheese does balance it all out. Like it's trying to be intense and then the cheese yeah, is like, no. Through, yeah. This is wonderful, but this is not what's going in the pollock paneer. No, no, no. We're going to just get the normal white the plain one. We're packing up a bit of plain paneer or cottage cheese for lunch, but I'm dying to try some of these sweets. This place is known for its barfi. The name itself is standard barfi. Barfi? Barfi, yeah. So you better try this. Right here with the silver on top. Yeah, little silver on top. Yes. I haven't done this. Putting edible silver on certain foods is an old tradition in India, with some believing that the silver has microbial astringent qualities. But yeah. mostly, it just looks yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll try the silver plated barfi right and a couple right other treats. This is no, but I remember. Uh, we no, we have it there. Yeah. So we're trying the silver plated barfi. Let's go for it. it probably not as good as that one. Mm. I really like this no one. silver it's taste at all. Yeah, That's my favorite it part of the silver. Flavor. It's like breadcrumbs yeah, mixed with sugar and syrup. Can you it's, taste uh, the cashew nut in it? Yeah, actually, very strong cashew yeah. flavor. That's basil lentils made out of lentils and dry fruits and sugar. Lentil ball? Lentil doesn't sound like dessert. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would never guess that it has anything to do with lentils. It kind of tastes like crumbled crushed graham crackers mixed with brown sugar, molasses, and some nuts. Very sweet and almost yeah. melting in your mouth a little bit. India knows how to do desserts, man. I do. When we go to your house and I meet your family, is, it, is what I'm wearing okay? Is this all right? Yeah, it's just all right. In India, guys wear kurtas. It's a kurta pajama that we in it traditionally wear. We're going to pick up a kurta? Yeah, we're going to pick up one. One of these kurta shops. Should I wear one of these too? Only in the wedding. Oh, maybe a shirt. Okay, let's uh, let's call them down a little bit. They have a ton of different colors here. I like this kind of maroon one. The pants style is different than this one. More comfortable. You know, in the U.S., if one person from one culture tries to take on some customs of another culture, people can be sensitive about it. For you, or for maybe people watching from India, what would they think of me wearing some of their clothes? I think it'll be pretty cool because in India, I think they're pretty proud of their culture, mm. so they would want to share it with. Other people, so, yep. yeah. so it's all good. It's all good. I think what we probably need is a, a white montage. Man, be careful, though. <laughs> you know always, what a montage is. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I've got on my kurta, I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, like and black. it's time to meet the family. Let's go. Did you grow up here? Yes. Wow. Hi there. That's my mom. Thank you. She's wow. my mom. Namaste. We all, really we all look so stunning. Okay. Should I pull it off? Okay. Great. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening there? That's the tikka that you were asking. Blessing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. We smell the flowers. Yeah, these are fresh. I'm like, I'm like, stop right smelling now. stuff, man. I don't know what you're feeling to me. Well, here we go. Thank you. I can get used to this. This is pretty nice. Let's go inside. 
Who is this? <laughs> I can take this off. No. No? Okay. No, 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 He's got a big head. Wow. I know, listen. I have a pretty big head. Me too, but did you know about my big head? <laughs> so... My mother is saying you're, you're looking like a king. That was quite the introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's this one mean? It's a way of welcoming you and it means we are your well wishes. Welcome to Thank you. Thank you so much. Due to my unforeseen head size, my head covering quickly becomes a stole. Fuchsia, kind of, is my color. First of all, I want to say thank you so much to your mother for the, uh, the mutton curry she delivered the other day. I guess we should probably flash back really quick to what happened. Hey, come in. Check it out, bro. She delivered curry, like little bowls oh. of curry. We got some white rice. Oh, and we've got some mutton curry right here that are not delicious. Made. Let's see if we can go to the kitchen in this hotel and see if they'll actually cook up food. Can you bring food to a restaurant and ask them to cook it? That's what we're gonna do. So our wonderful mother prepared all this food and had it sent to the hotel, including this rich, beautiful oh, mutton curry, which mutton has been curry. cooked for five hours. She sent the mutton curry here because she wanted me to try it, and also because from tomorrow, there's a holiday, kind of a religious time, 10 day period, starting in India for the Hindu people in which they can't eat meat. She knew I couldn't come to their house, so she's like, look, I'm gonna make this mutton curry for you. Send it to the hotel so you can enjoy it there. Oh, sweetheart. Oh no, it froze on the bone, and there's no sound. What happened? Oh, it paused. Internet. Weird. <laughs> We've got video, we don't have sound. It's incredibly do Oh, there's the sound. <laughs> what are y'all doing? I'm laughing at you. <laughs> Why? so mad. Yeah, you look really mad. Your eyes are mad, yet you're biting on your lips. It's gonna make editing that much more yeah, difficult. I know. Yeah, it's it annoying. Yeah. I, I'm not sure why we're not connecting. Hold this. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, look. Have Is you it... tasted it yet? No. She oh, won't. she won't like it. I don't That's think I true. will like it. That's true. Great alcohol. She I won't like it. I had, what did I have? Oh, oh, we could, you know what? You should probably do that. What most oh, Indians do yeah. is they'll add water to their drinks. Oh. And then you get the flip. I know it. Trust me. Rum, you can add Coke. Rum is like, don't oh, like Coke. No, she won't like rum and Coke. I had, what did I have? She'll like thumbs up. Oh, I had Bacardi Black. She, what? Yeah. Straight? Oh, I'm so sorry. You, you should do that. You shouldn't have anything straight outside of like flavored liqueurs. It's disgusting. I mean, I, tequila shots. Have you done that? I have a water. I have, like that. I have, yes. a, I have okay. a watermelon vodka that you probably like a lot. Oh, you would like that. I do like vodka. What was the pink lemonade tasting? Yeah, I have some of that. We can get some of that later. Uh, you'll love pink that. Pink lemonade, pink Whitney. Delicious. Okay. And so different from all the kind of restaurant curries I've had so far. Not like overly seasoned, not overly salty. And the mutton is so That's tender on there. Nice it's and lean. Flavor. That's one of the biggest revelations See? I had. Oh, this woman knows how to cook. And one of the biggest revelations the I had on dinner. Curry anyway, in India. Anyways, I just There's wanted to so say many thank curries. you so much. I thought it was, it was just one yes. thing. But yeah. Curry really just means thank gravy. You. Mm. These are the days of Navratras, mm. the religious festival, you can say. We that sow the seeds. And this plant is, is growing garlic? at the end of the ninth day. So the longer it grows, it means no. growth and prosperity of the family. And mm. During this time, not only will they abstain from meat, but garlic and onion as well. <gasps> but don't think that'll make our palak paneer oh. any less delicious. We got the spinach from the market today. We got the cheese. And then right now, she's going to make it. Life the garlic onion starts so with sad. spinach boiled with ginger. Then tomatoes are diced with ginger and chilies pureed and tossed into a See, hot skillet with some melted ghee. Then a whole host of seasonings, oh. including salt, turmeric, red chili powder, coriander powder, garam masala, and fresh coriander. The steamed spinach is blended and mixed in as well. Finally, big chunks of paneer are mixed in and simmered a bit to get them hot. Time to eat. Hot paneer. First of all, I just want to say thank wow. you all so much Those for inviting bitches. me here today <laughs> and, and to be part of this amazing, huge, glorious, Ooh, delicious meal. It's my pleasure. And that being said, wow, did you cook all this? 
Oh my gosh. You grew up with cooking like this? That's amazing. He will make something special. Oh, so your dad is starting by making this? What is this? It's light and digestible. And so he's sprinkling on some... Masala. And then a bit of rice. It's called dal chawal ka patta. It's, it's traditionally served in a bowl made out of leaves. What is the orange one? That is... From pearls. Lentils. First we pray. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Dal chawal ka patta. Dal chawal means lentil rice in, in a bowl. Mmm. Look at that. That's really yes, delicious. You know, the thing I've really noticed, because I tried your mutton curry before, and I've had so much street food. Like, home cooking is just more gentle. It's not that heavy. Yeah. Uh, outside food is heavy. So this is some kind of fried thing? Yeah, dumpling in... <laughs> Yogurt. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah, messed up. Mmm, ready, yogurty, nice fresh herbs on there. I ate it already, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the palapaneer? Yeah, oh, that's the palapaneer. Oh, so nice. Big chunks of cheese. Can I put that on here? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's scoop it up with the bread. It's a simple dish, but it's still oh, one of my favorites because oh, it's one of the first Indian foods I ever had. We've got a big piece of cheese right here. I'm going to scoop it up. Just going to scoop it up with the bread. Mmm, cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Wow. After trying out so much oh. food from street stalls and restaurants, this home-cooked meal really hit the spot. I'm struck by the nuance of spices and the delicate balance of flavors. It can only be described as food cooked with love. I just realized this is a vegetarian meal. It didn't even dawn on me. Everything's so like hearty and delicious. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize till now. Oh wait, there's actually no meat here. That's the beauty of Indian cuisine. You, you have a lot of varieties and veg as well. Right, like you don't food. feel like something's missing. Yeah. Mm. Thank you all so much for this awesome experience and this awesome food. We're going to keep going and enjoy a little bit more. Ashita has actually been my guide here for the last couple of weeks and she's shown me so much in Mumbai and here in Delhi and then now um, sharing a meal with your family. So it means a lot to me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And one last time, I just want to say thank you so much. My time in India has been unforgettable. We must have tried over 100 <laughs> different foods in our 10 video India series. So. Be sure to check out the full India playlist. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip, is one trip Vietnam it doesn't sponsor this video, but sponsored that video. Yeah, that's the one thing. Look, well, there's actually a lot of things that we didn't get to do in India. Was it wasn't for lack of being invited. We were invited to oh, many people's stars. houses mm. and at meet and greets. Yeah. Constant in front of my food. house. You're, you even, yeah. even got invited like people. Hey, you're gonna be here, my parents live there just Aww. i'll tell them you're coming yeah like that person wouldn't be there they just want us to go eat <laughs> their parents meal very common but yeah so i would love to have been able to do that try some mm -hmm. home cooked meals yeah and as sad as because i've had the same reaction as you have because we've I've heard of cooking things without um yeah. garlic and onion mm -hmm. but they have so many other flavors and seasonings yeah. that you literally don't miss it yeah, yeah. it's it's wow it's, Amazing. It's stupendous. Yeah, and you would, I'm pretty sure you'd be in love with virtually everything you tasted Probably. in India. Probably. Yeah. You would. Pretty much everything. You would love prison. Oh, yeah, Indrani. Oh, my stars. She's just simply made two things together. Mm -hmm. of one was okra. Oh, you told me about the okra. I did, and then she did eggplant. Mm. A fried eggplant that, that is delicious. Ooh. Un- Believably delicious. Well, that was wonderful. Yeah. Please let us know what other food videos his or other people's. We always enjoy um, getting hungry in a video. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Anything else, Lexi? Nope. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Everybody send your marriage proposals to Lexi. The top <laughs> upvoted comment. Yeah. Well, uh, she'll accept it. All of them. <laughs>